Well, with cases now soaring, Governor Kathy Hochul has declared a state disaster emergency over the monkeypox outbreak. The governor says more than 25% of the cases nationwide are in New York City. With most in the city, CBS 2's Astrid Martinez reports from a monkeypox vaccine site in Long Island City on the governor's emergency declaration. Natalie, good morning. The governor announced a big boost in vaccine supply to help fight the spread of monkeypox. It will be distributed over four to six weeks, but critics say that this rollout is a bit late. With lines for vaccines growing, so are the cases. Now in New York City, more than 1,200 people infected and exploding across the country. People are getting more desperate for a shot. I've been waiting for four hours. <laughs> four hours. And while the feds are sending the city 80,000 vaccine doses, that's no relief for those already infected. They're in such excruciating pain that the emergency department is the first place that they come. Dr. Virat Madia is on the front lines as a New York City ER doctor. And the patients that I'm seeing are suffering uh, from pain, but then for weeks afterwards, and sometimes even longer than that. You have people that have 102 fever, you know, they've got aches and pains all over their body. Jeffrey Glaze is recovering from monkeypox. He says so many people don't know how to get their hands on the antiviral drugs, like the experimental T pox that he was able to use. They're going from their doctor to the walk in clinic to the hospital, and they're getting sent away. They can't get the medication anywhere. And, you know, there's maybe one. One or two people uh, clinics across the city that are offering this, and it's not a sustainable system for health care. The Biden administration is deciding whether to declare a national emergency, but outraged critics are likening its response to the one giving to the HIV outbreak in the 80s. This government pretends to be our friends. This government says that they're LGBTQ allies and they wave the rainbow flag. But if you're saying the same thing that the FDA said in the 80s, then you're not our friends. So with the slow vaccine rollout and challenges to getting treatments, people are being warned. It is curable. However, we have to use common sense. This is one of those diseases that lives on hard surfaces. It can harbor itself on a linen. And Governor Hochul said she's working with the White House to make sure that New York gets its fair share of vaccine supply, especially to those New Yorkers in vulnerable communities. In Long Island City, Queens, Astrid Martinez, CBS 2 News. And we have more information on vaccine clinics and how to sign up for an appointment on our website, cbsnewyork.com.